So my talk is about Web3, which is the most exciting word in crypto right now. But I'm not going to talk about NFTs because we are more of an FT crowd here, I think. Um, so that means fungible token. Um, my name is Alex Anarko. I am a host of a German podcast called the Monero Mumble, where we once a month talk about the current developments in the Monero space. And I have also started developing a Web3 application built on Monero called TipXMR. And yeah, I just want to talk about that a little bit and maybe inspire one or two other people to follow my footsteps because I myself was inspired by a guest uh, from Douglas on the Monero talk who programmed, I don't know, some exchange service in Python and I was just blown away by this and in general I felt left out of the crypto space because I didn't know how to code and at the time there was this hashtag going around learn to code so I thought all right I'm going to do it and yeah then with my co-host uh, Krisha also known as Hundehausen on uh, Twitter or GitHub we had this idea of uh, monetizing our live streams because we live streamed the Monero mumble and we were like oh cool we could do it like Twitch, where you have like this pop notification and then the streamer gets monetized and the donator is able to interact with the show. It's super cool. Let's build it. And Krisha developed a prototype really fast that was self-hosted. So uh, you would have to buy a VPS, a virtual private server, and put the software on there, configure it a little bit, start the application then buy a domain and set up the web server and then it would work. And at that point in time, I was really a noob. I mean, I still am, but uh, getting better. So I, I was really struggling with this and my intuition was, this is not user-friendly. We're never gonna get to adoption with tech that is so cumbersome to set up that yeah, only a few people will be able to do it. We need to make it noob-friendly and foolproof and so, we took the idea, so basically how Krisha implemented it in the first prototype is you would just have like your wallet RPC on the same virtual private server that would then check the sub addresses and yeah, like um, notify the web app uh, if the transaction has arrived. And then we started digging into the technical possibilities that Monero already offers and we stumbled upon this really amazing library called Monero JavaScript that, and we were blown away by this, offers a WebAssembly Monero wallet, wallet full in the browser. So basically that means you're able as a user to use your browser, have a full Monero wallet where you and you alone are in charge of the keys, so it's non-custodian, and you can send and receive transactions, you can sync the blockchain and all that cool stuff. And so we thought, okay, Let's take this WebAssembly and create like this framework around it so that a streamer could just like go to a website, enter like their desired display name, and then they would generate a Monero wallet and boom, they would be in and then they could like copy a URL that we give them, paste it into their OBS, which is open broadcaster uh, software. It's like the most popular option for streamers which would then implement a transparent browser source into OBS and whenever um, yeah, a new transaction arrives, we would then render the message. I mean, it sounds easy enough. It's not so easy, turns out, uh, especially if you don't know how to write code. But um, yeah, that was the idea. And technically, it is all possible. So my um, call to action here is for the people that really are passionate about Monero, like myself. I w I'm so passionate about it that I was like, okay, I'm gonna spend my time learning how to code, to understand it better, become more literate in this new paradigm that we have. And um, yeah, right now, I think we are at a really exciting point in time because the Monero protocol is there, it's get maturing. We just passed the Taylor mission, which is great. And the next, fo next hard fork is coming up and we have all these cool libraries like Monero JavaScript that 
will bring Monero to the web and will truly create like this web three where we have this fusion of the internet with this economy of value that you can transact to anybody in the world. And so if you like some streamer, you can support them. The streamer can then go and buy some coffee to survive. And yeah, I think the tools are all there and now it's just at the, the point in time where we need to implement the tools and we need to come up with cool and exciting things, uh, ideas, yeah, how we could uh, use the libraries and really bring that ease of use to the general user so yeah, we can grow as a community without having to use like the command line interface and stuff like this. So my call to action is learn to code and build stuff with Monero and do Web3 correctly and uh, yeah.